It's one of Britain's oldest retail names, but it's about to go all American. In a deal to be announced on Wednesday, the US drugstore chain Walgreens is to take full control of the owner of Boots, Britain's biggest high street pharmacist. One predicted element of the takeover won't be happening though. Sky News has learnt that Walgreens will remain based in the US rather than moving to Switzerland, where Alliance Boots is headquartered, through a so-called tax inversion. If you go into Boots in the high street, it works. All the, it's just a lovely, the prices are good, it's, it's got everything you want. And Walgreens wants to re reproduce that in Walgreens in America. Unfortunately, uh, Britain is not going to be part of that. It's not going to be a big part of that story. Boots Heritage as a British company is a proud one. Its origins date back to 1849 in a herbalist store in Nottingham. For much of its history, it was listed on the stock market, but in 2007, it was bought by KKR, an investment firm. In 2012, Walgreens acquired a 45% stake in Alliance Boots. Now it plans to buy the remaining 55%, costing more than £5 billion. The takeover will be one of the biggest involving a British company so far this year. It will see Boots' 2,500 British shops become part of a global healthcare giant. By shunning an overseas relocation, Walgreens will underline the intense pressure on American companies from the Obama administration. But that may not go down well with its own shareholders, who argue that the move could have saved $4 billion in tax over five years. The tax inversion trend has been a feature of takeover offers for London-listed companies such as AstraZeneca and Shire in recent months. But amid the threat of an aggressive US clampdown, the phenomenon looks as if it's already being given the boot. Mark Kleinman, Sky News.